New Zealand's kiwi fruit industry is under threat from a vine-killing bacteria commonly known as PSA. PSA is a bacterial disease which affects kiwi fruit species. It is spread by airborne spores, so is and can move easily between plants and orchards in certain environmental conditions. At this point in time, the disease has only affected about 0.2% of growers in New Zealand's industry. However, this does not by any means mean New Zealand is not at further risk. So how are you managing the situation currently? Uh, well, we've, uh, we've been focusing on really where the footprint of the virulent infection is which is in the eastern side of Tipuki. That's been our big focus. Is PSA is infected right across the country, but it is where the virulent infection is that we're really focused on. Just trying to identify where that footprint is. What have we learned about dealing with a disease threat like PSA? We're learning all the time. The unfortunate thing is we, we don't have a lot of knowledge about um, PSA. So it's um, like building a train track ahead of the train. We're trying to learn as fast as we can to contain the disease, what the life cycle of, of the disease is, and everything we can do on orchard in terms of on orchard practices to um, mitigate the spread of the disease. Simon Limmer, General Manager of Global Supply for Zespri, says that New Zealand's reputation has in fact not been affected by this situation. I don't think New Zealand's reputation has suffered at all through this. I think. Um, PSA as, a, as an issue has been around in the kiwi fruit industry um, worldwide for 20 odd years. Korea, Japan, Italy have all been dealing with the problem and um, really uh, I don't think our reputation has suffered. I think um, to a certain extent the cohesive nature of our industry has assisted us in uh, being organised and responding very, very quickly. So from that perspective I think we've possibly enhanced our reputation. And I also think that our New Zealand and Zespri are really the reference for kiwi fruit worldwide. Quality kiwi fruit comes out of New Zealand. We know that PSA is only affecting the vines, it's not affecting the fruit. Um, so really, uh, I think we're in, we're in good shape. How are production numbers shaping up this year? Now again, we've had a really good response from our trade partners. We've had um, no negative noises about exports to offshore locations. We really, uh, again, as it's only affecting the vines, there's no impact on the fruit at all. Our export locations are still very positive about receiving New Zealand fruit. And we're about in about four weeks' time to kick off the export season. Our volumes are as expected. Gold volumes are up in response to really good uh, market demand. And green volumes are about where we'd expect to see them. Peter Ombler, president of New Zealand Kiwi Fruit Growers Incorporated, is one of the lucky ones. His orchard has not been affected by the disease, but he says he understands what growers are going through. How are growers feeling now? Some growers are quite concerned, depending, obviously the closer they are to the priority zone, the more concerned they are, but all growers are concerned about this. How is the financial assistance helping? The industry has funded a third, the government has funded a third, and, and the growers are, are funding a third themselves, so it's a huge help for them in the predicament they're in, but it's still a very difficult situation for those growers, but the funding package makes it a much easier exercise than it otherwise would have been. One orchardist who's not been so lucky is Murray Holmes. He is one of the 0.2% of growers severely affected by this disease. We were diagnosed on the 22nd of December with the um, Italian um, PSA virus in, in this block um, of Hayward kiwi fruit. Just under five hectares, we've removed 3.8 hectares of it. I've now still got one point, or just over a hectare left of canopy, but no fruit on that canopy. Some of them may die. Um, I've had different opinions on five to 10 percent, up to 50 percent might not recover from this. Um, so it's a wait and see policy at this stage, and work out what we can do. There's a package in place for what we've done here in the removal of the fruit and re removal of the canopy. It's a, a regeneration package um, to basically help us keep going from the industry to help us get back into production um, and hopefully we will get back into production in not too distant future. Now growers need to reevaluate and figure out what the new normal will be. Yeah, I'd like to think five years we'd, we'd be back to at least producing a crop but um, it won't be, won't be normal. The industry as it was is now not what it will ever be. Peter Ombler though remains positive for those affected by PSA. I'm an optimist in that regard, so um, my view is that we will find a way that we can live with the problem we've got and uh, it is my real hope that orchards will be able to re-establish with PSA. Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.